Hi, I am Aditya and today I am going to teach you to use a tool called LiveCode. It's the fastest and the simplest way to develop applications. Install the tool. Go to livecode.com and click on download. Download LiveCode only and choose the latest stable version for your operating system then to become an android developer download the java sdk and the android sdk and set them up that's it you're ready to continue with live code so we start off with the main stack this is where you design the user interface of the application. On the left, in the tools menu, you have a list of objects which can be drawn directly into the main stack. On the left, you have uh, other graphical objects which I can add. We'll just add an oval for now. When you right click, you can go to the property inspector. We have the name as oval. Here you can change all the graphic effects, colors, patterns, etc. We'll fill the color green for now. Remember to set the property opaque to true. Now we have a green oval. We will now edit the properties of button. We will give it a label red. We right click, edit script. We will now write a simple line of code to change the color of the oval. Set the background color of graphic oval, the name of the object, to red. Simple. Now let's run it. We choose the mouse in the tools menu. We click. Boom. It's done. We will now add one more button to change the color to say blue. So we change the label to blue. And then we write the same script. We give a answer hello world to give a pop-up text message. Simple. Now here we can click the play button to simulate the action. This is a mouse click event. We get the hello world pop-up and the oval color has been changed to blue. To change the label for the pop-up menu, we edit the script again and we say answer hello world with msrit. So once we click the button, notice that the label has been changed to msrit on the pop-up menu. We now go to file, standalone application settings and choose the platform we wish to export the application for. Here we choose the desktop versions Mac, Windows and Linux. Now we go to save as standalone application. We choose the saving directory and that's it. Live code will now export our app to native code of the three desktop versions we specified. This is the Mac version. Notice it works perfectly well. Then we shall see the Windows version. Okay. 
we shall now build an Android app. In standalone application settings, choose Android and give a name and an identifier and make sure you sign for development only. Connect your phone and choose a test target as Android. Click on the test button and wait till the app is uploaded to your phone. I'll now teach you to play sounds. To import an audio file, go to File, Import as Control and choose Audio File. Once we have imported the appropriate audio file, we will run the following script. The special folder path engine consists of the present location of the app we have a control flow here if the environment is a mobile then we choose mobile play sound on channel or else if it's a desktop version we choose play audio clip that's it This is the script used to play or stop the background music. To pause the current songs being played, we just use the function mobile pause playing on channel. That's it. To resume, it's mobile resume playing on channel. This is the most important part to make it compatible with both desktop and mobile phones. I have written the code to play multiple audio files at once. To download this, go to this URL and download the multiple audio.live code file. Once you have downloaded these files from GitHub, continue watching this video. We use a global variable i to keep track of the five songs we wish to play parallelly. In case of the first play button, i holds a value of 1. All the other control flow statements are used to change the icons of the play button to pause button and change to a purple button when clicked. The buttons on the left are used to select songs and the file list shows the contents of the current directory. We use the function set the visible of field name to true to set the visibility to true which is initially set to false
the stop button stops all the songs currently being played and changes the icons to light blue. The rest of the control flow are used for our actions. So when we click, the color changes to dark purple, which gives a feeling that the button is being pressed. That is taken care of by cell 1. Let's see how this runs on the Android phone. 